This video is sponsored by So Sick Clothing. Use code TOMORROW at checkout to save 15% and support the channel. Link in the description. What's up YouTube and welcome back to some more Hitman 2. The Siberia Sniper Map is out, Crime and Punishment, and this is a double achievement slash trophy guide for never knew what hit them and in a league of their own. This requires you to get above 1 million points in the mission as well as completing it on Silent Assassin. Technically you don't have to do the two together but it's pretty easy to do both of them together and I'm going to show you how to do it in one run right here. Go ahead and load up Crime and Punishment, and we don't have to do anything special on this screen, but I just wanted to mention that I had a 25 times multiplier from completing challenges in previous playthroughs. You only need about a 2 times multiplier using this method in order to get over a million points. So from the beginning here, we're going for all headshots and we're trying to hide all of the bodies. In fact, we need to hide all the bodies in order to get Silent Assassin. Obviously, we're moving pretty quickly through here, but for the most part, you're going to be looking to try and put people into snow piles or other kind of hidden areas where no other guards are going to see them. This guard right here gave me a little bit of trouble getting him into the snow pile. As you can see there, he didn't actually land in it, and we're going to go back to him in a second and use a shockwave bullet to push him into the snow pile. If you have any issues with any of the other guards, you can absolutely use a shockwave bullet to try and get them into it. But for the most part, this is pretty straightforward. You're just going for headshots and trying to hide bodies in different locations. Tadco eliminated. Good work. We're up to it. I'm counting seven remaining kills. Five kills. We will not discover the body there. At this point right here, I actually go ahead and mess up a little bit. You don't need to shoot the ground here. In fact, there's no reason for you to do that, but I did it anyways because I wanted to get this guard down here, and I knew that another guard was walking past him who I couldn't shoot. Basically, what I've done now is I've made this take about two extra minutes, I believe, or one extra minute, because Vitaly Reznikov is going to walk back into the building and then restart his pathing. I went ahead and cut it out just so you didn't have to watch that, took about a minute for him to get back here but pretty much by shooting the ground I actually caused him to walk back into the building and then walk back out restarting his path so his normal path would just take him along here anyway so you do not need to shoot the ground there to slow him down in order to get the other guard Now, at this point, all you need to do is take out the last three remaining guards. You're going to want to shoot that light right there so that the non-target guard leaves the building and he is no longer around where our target guard is. As you can see, he's leaving the building right now and our target guard is just kind of hanging out. Pretty much, you need to make sure that at this point, none of the target guards get seen by the non-target guards. 
if that makes any sense. I know it can be a little bit confusing if you've never played this mission before, but basically the prison has guards that are targets and guards that are non-targets, and you cannot shoot them, and they cannot see dead bodies for this run. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. If it did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all the fun junk, check down, subscribe, and links, and things, my Twitter, Instagram, Mixer channel, my other YouTube channel where I do real-life sporting event predictions in video games like FIFA and Madden. Keep it here for more Hitman 2, especially as more maps drop. And keep it here for more achievements slash trophy slash collectibles guides. Until tomorrow, ta-ra!